What's up everybody and welcome to the final video of 2017. We have had an awesome year so far pumping out videos for you guys and for the end of 2017 we have hit 50,000 subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough for your support this year. It has been crazy from what we started with. A year ago today we hit 20,000 and a year before that we hit 2,000. <laughs> Next year we're hoping for 100,000 so you guys are amazing. It's been so much fun. Today's video, a quick recap of the year, Q&A video. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you would have seen the post. So thank you all for the questions. We're of course gonna answer a lot of them. And then a quick update for what's gonna happen next year. So today, this video is going live the end of the year. Today is actually Christmas. Hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas and holiday season. We got the beautiful Z with the reindeer nose, the antlers, and then we got Santa in the Tacoma over there. It's like 20 degrees <laughs> out, my hand is freezing. Well, let's hop inside. Let's get the video going. Let's collect my new Nismo 370Z. Alright guys, here is the key to my brand new 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD 4x4 Off-Road. a quick recap of the fun that we've had this year obviously plenty more videos that we didn't get to put in there but it's definitely been an awesome 2017 for the channel so we're gonna go over some questions now that you guys posted on Instagram for us how much did you pay for the 370z all right that car out the door was 35.8 since I traded in the red Z that took a lot of taxes off so I know a lot of people are always torn do I private sale or trade it trading it in saved me well over a thousand dollars in taxes Got a heck of a deal on the car, heck of a deal on trade, so trading was easy, and yeah, 35.8. Cool deal, next one. Why in the world did you buy a Tacoma and not a Raptor? What were you thinking? <laughs> well, I mean, the Raptor is an awesome truck, don't get me wrong. That is something, if I lived out west and could do like desert runs or something, it's a big truck, so it's built more for speed and things like that. It's a beast. It's a it. beast, yeah. I don't need a full-size truck though, and the trails that we do off-road. The Tacoma is more compact, so it's easier to fit through the trees and things like that. So that's why I didn't get it. It's also probably close to twice as much as what this cost me. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, I can have the truck and something else, or just a Raptor. So I don't need it, it's not practical for me. I can still have a pickup truck and do what I want. What is your best childhood memory together as brothers growing up? Man, a lot of memories. <laughs> I, well, you want me to go first? Or, or do you want to go first? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, I would honestly say just being outside together. Building forts, building say, ramps. I was going to say building ramps. <laughs> uh, making trails through our woods. Just being yeah. outside because our parents would have to drag us inside. It was we always inside. We had to be home by dinner. That was how, that was the rule. Or by the time the street lights came on. Yeah. Here's one for you. Yeah. Do you think you will ever go back to a sports car after the Tacoma? Well, you guys, if you're not subscribers, you should subscribe because there are thoughts going on in my head on what is going to join the Tacoma. Mm -hmm. So I'm not getting rid of the Tacoma, so I will be adding something. So yes, I will be back in a sports car alongside mm -hmm. the Tacoma. Let's see. Anything for you? Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Do you ever miss your Genesis or do or wish you did more with it modification wise? And another question on top of that says, do you ever wish you didn't sell it? Oh. Okay, so the crazy thing is, so I sold that car in August of 2016. So a little over a year ago, I got 14 grand for the Genesis. I looked up the values of my Genesis with the miles that I would have had on it if I still had it just a few months ago. Trade-in was eight grand. So financially, I am so glad I sold that car when I did because I would have lost another $6,000 in a year. 
eight grand to trade that into this Nismo would have been a stretch for me at the time. So that would have been hard to do. It was really, really easy to trade it in for the Red Z and really easy to trade the red for the Nismo. So it was an automatic, it was fun. I had it for four and a half years through college. It was the perfect car for college. It was comfortable, roomy. I could fit so much stuff whenever I would go home, go back to campus. But after four and a half years, and of course, once I got a full-time job making a normal salary and having my own life, obviously, I was ready for a real sports car. And that's why I got a 370Z, which a lot of you agree is a real sports car, <laughs> but definitely glad to be out of it and on to the next thing. What is your dream car and why? Ooh, that's a hard question, honestly. Well, that would be for both of us. I have categories of my dream <laughs> cars. I have uh, an attainable dream car and okay. money's no object, the best of the best. Okay. Forever. Obtainable dream car would be an Audi R8. V10. V10 is obtainable. And then if money wasn't an issue, I don't know. I really like the P1. But do I need a hyper car? Well, if I didn't, if I had the money, <laughs> it, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah. For me, the Lamborghini Gallardo has been my dream car since fourth grade when that car came out. My parents bought me a model car of one, and ever since then, that's been my dream and goal. An LP560, of course, though. So that is my dream attainable car, unattainable. <laughs> so I think uh, probably a Koenigsegg Agera R. I like the Regera, but I feel like I would rather have the Agera with the transmission and stuff. But. At that point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, you just get them all. <laughs> yeah. Next picture, just a uh, screenshot of 49,018 subscribers. And by the way, we're filming this like we said on Christmas. <laughs> Today we have 49,400 and... Hold on. What's your guess? <laughs> 49,409. A few moments later. What'd you say again? 49,409? 49,485. So oh, today we're... Tough about 500 in advance of what we're thinking. Are you ever going to boost the Nismo? All right, I think I got a few questions on that. All right, let's get serious real quick. No, that's the short answer. The short answer, I will not be boosting the Z. However, I've driven a twin turbo 370 and that's the car that told me I had to buy a Z because it was amazing, but I did not buy the Nismo to be a crazy build. Now already I've done way more than I ever thought, spending thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands on wheels, tires, coilovers, intake exhaust, all that kind of stuff. I've done a lot to it in my opinion, but that is a stepping stone car for the next car because the next car is a dream car. I have a few on the list that are considered a dream car in my opinion. So it was a stepping stone car. I'm having fun with it. I love it. I will say time and time again, if you're looking for a sports car, go on Auto Trader, sort by 2015 or newer Nismo 370Zs, sort by the cheapest price and see if one is in your budget and buy it because you will love it. But yeah, no. No boost for this one. However, in the future, I would love to buy another one and twin turbo go for like seven or 800. So in the future, but not now. Cool deal. All right. How long have you been doing YouTube and are you going to lift the Tacoma and supercharge the Nismo? Okay, well we answered that one. We started the channel in Dece or December 31st, 2011. Yep. So it's been so 12, six 13, years 16, 16. in like five days. Well, by, when this video goes up, it'll be six years. Six years. Yeah. So, and it took us four years to get to 2,000 subscribers. So, yeah, it's been we, a long road. We really started the channel in 20, uh, August of 2015. Yeah. So it's been a little over two years. Because the first four years was really just off-roading the Tacoma, the 07 Tacoma, like 20 second clip down a mountain, unrecord, you know, <laughs> that was a video, you know. Yeah. Next trail, that, you know. And are you going to lift the Tacoma? Well, subscribe <laughs> and find out. We'll leave it at that. Yes, he's definitely going to leave it. Okay. So this next picture was of the Tacoma. You did two, three pictures of it. Front end Friday. Okay, let me see. What's the next upgrade for the taco? And I like the taco emoji taco. picture. Yeah, that's funny. The next upgrade, well, we just, they've already seen this yep. video, right? Yep. So you've already seen the interior trim pieces and the bumper and grill and stuff. The next upgrade goes back to the earlier question we had, are you going to lift the Tacoma? So maybe they well, should subscribe. Well, they wait a second. <laughs> there might be a mod before that. You might have to plug your ears. He's going to straight pipe it. That might be before <laughs> getting taller. So, All right, next picture I posted, which you guys kind of saw just now with the reindeer ears, but or antlers, the Nismo looking super clean at the boat launch or at the lake. Is YouTube your only job? 
No. no. We both have full-time jobs and technically full-time, well, not full-time YouTubers, but... All our spare time is YouTube. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, so yeah, we have full-time jobs. We mainly do videos on the weekends. Yeah, that's why we upload, we have a video go live for the most part every other day because the weekends we each pump out two or three and that gets yep. us to next week. So we've actually pumped out a video every other day, almost all of 2017. We had So in 365 days, I think we're gonna upload 178 videos. So it, we try to manage as best we can with our other, other spare time. Do you pick up girls in the Z? 99.9% .9 of the time, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is your favorite car you've reviewed? Now, I have three on my top three, one hands down. Oh my gosh, I bet it's the same one for you. The NSX? No. Oh, well, the, the <laughs> GTR. My absolute favorite car that I've reviewed is the 2009 Nissan GTR yes. that had full bolt-ons, a tune, a rocket bunny, wide body, racing seats, racing harnesses. Wow. That was awesome. I um, really must say that was awesome. Unreal. That car was amazing. I've driven stock GTRs and they're awesome, but when you put mods, it turns them from what some people say is a boring mm -hmm. car. Wow. I got to drive that to Carson Coffee. Woo. Hello, Bridges. <laughs> Goodbye, eardrums. <laughs> Amazing. My, my next two, though, are a tie between the twin turbo 370Z and the Ferrari 458. Okay. The, Fer the, the 458 was the first super car I drove. I was kind of nervous driving it because it was a quarter million dollars, but that was really cool. It, I felt obviously amazing in it, but the twin turbo Z was, that was pretty amazing. Let me add on to this. I forgot, I, I reviewed a 2004 Lamborghini Gallardo. A long time ago. And now, if our channel had been greater, I might have been able to drive that. I got to ride in it on a passenger, but that was awesome to see. Six-speed gated manual. Yeah. All right, next one. Tell us about what actually made you start your journey on YouTube. Well, pretty much wanting to do things to our cars and not seeing anybody else do it. Yeah. I actually started a YouTube channel before this channel, and if you guys are OG subscribers, <laughs> you'll remember Honda Full Ride Red. That was this channel's name. But yep. I had a channel for a couple months. It was originally just for my music playlist, stuff like that. But I had I started that when I was 16, and I was looking for an exhaust for my Scion TC. Couldn't find a single good video. Like there are so many videos of people like talking while the guy's revving the car, and I'm like, "You're talking. I'm trying to hear the car, or playing music over it, or laughing over it." It's like I just wanted a simple rev so I knew what I wanted to buy. So I ended up buying a Borla because we have one on the Tacoma, made my own video, and it got like 10,000 views back in the day. So I was like, well, this is cool. I can make videos that I don't see out there that hopefully can help people out. And then the, or the beginning so. of this channel just are just fun, like dirt bike videos, motocross, or off-road just to show our friends, our parents, us, you know, watch later on. And then- So uh, it's just been a sn huge snowball effect. Yeah, every Pretty month much. gets bigger and bigger and crazy. Yeah. And the last question, if you could have any five cars, what would they be? I would keep my Tacoma, because I need something practical. Audi R8, Toyota Supra. New one or old one? If the new one never came out, then old one. But if the new one came out, then maybe both. I don't know. That would be my sixth car kind of swap out. <laughs> uh, I'd love to have an R34, and then some kind of hypercar. So P1, LaFerrari, Koenigsegg, just cool. why not? So for me, I'd have a GTR as my daily, I'd have a Raptor as my can do anything, a Gallardo, uh, probably a Huracan, and then maybe I guess a Koenigsegg. So some daily supercars, the crazy car, and. So that's all the questions that you guys had for us for 2017. Thanks again for posting them on Instagram. Definitely follow us on there for day-to-day -day updates. Now we're gonna go over our 2018 plans because that is going to be a huge game-changing year for the channel. <laughs> Next year is the year we've been working for, honestly, the last two or three years. Like, yeah, it, when we were in college, we talked about what was gonna happen five, six years from now, which is next year. Which is getting there, yeah. So, so yeah, there's a reason why we get rid of something, get something, do this, do that. Yeah, there's a reason to everything we're doing because next year. <laughs> yeah. So, oh well, I guess on adding to that would be the sports cars. So All right. a lot of people are asking me, you know, again, with the sports car, why did I go with a Tacoma? So what I'm trying to think about now is do I get 
just a cool sports car to add to the Tacoma or should I wait like I have been to plan and save for that attainable supercar sports car? I think a V10 already is a supercar. Well, it's yeah, that's a supercar. It's a supercar. If, unless I got the V8, but I don't think it would be worth it. Yeah. So do I get something a little cheaper so at least I can have fun in some kind of sports car now and then trade that in for the supercar or do I just wait and get the supercar? That's my plans of adding to the Tacoma. Yeah. So, my plans, I do have a new car in in mind to trade the Nismo for. I'm not dead set on actually one car like some of you may think. I have three on my top list, I'll go ahead and say them. Obviously a GTR, it's the next step up from the Nismo Z. Uh, the modification potential, they're, they're amazing. Uh, C7 Z06 Corvette. That was my original dream car when I was a kid. My grandma got me a model car when I was like, I don't know, five years old. And ever since then, I said they're the, like the coolest cars. Jaguar F-Type V8s, the values have dropped a lot since the SVR came out. So I'm really watching the values of those three cars very intently to see what the best deal is next year. Also considering like an M4, a 911, maybe a Cayman. Maybe I should add the cars I was looking at too. Yeah, you well, can. So there's the M4, like he said. Lotus Elise, possibly. There was the um, M2. M2, uh, Alfa Romeo 4C, a ZL1. Oh yeah, GT350. I just want the dream. I'm looking for the dream day. That's my next car, because my next car is a dream car of mine. Like if I end up GTR, F-Type, or a Corvette, whatever I pick, that's gonna be the dream daily that I keep for a long time while I then cycle through my dream sports car, supercar next to it. So the next car is gonna be the one to stay for a long, long time for me. Your next car will be a stepping stone for the next car. Yep, the Tacoma's here to stay while I play around with yeah. the spare car. So basically, yeah. that's going to consist of a lot of next year planning that. We've been, well, the last few years have been planning for it. Next year will be the action of doing a lot of that. Uh, of course, reviews, the car crazy. reviews, mods, adventures, yeah. all sorts of things. So yeah. It's going to be a busy year. Hopefully a fun one. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Well guys, that wraps up the 2017 year of YouTube. I hope you guys have had some fun watching 160, 170 videos of us. Uh, 30,000 plus of you are new this year. Thank you, yep. welcome to the channel. <laughs> next year is gonna be big. I hope you guys stick around for next year. We have some crazy things that have been in the works for many, many years. Oh, and yes. I'm excited. I kind of freak out every day <laughs> when I think about what, what I'm getting ready to do, what he's getting ready it's to so do. so close. It's like right there. I mean, but we can't jump the gun just yet. Yep, gotta gotta set your goal, make your plan. You let it happen, basically. Yep. Stick with it and just yeah. just just keep rolling with the plan because it will end up working out. Yep. Anyway, guys, right. that sums up the video. Q and A, quick recap, update. 2018, here we come. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and being a supporter of the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed our last video of 2017. We're done. Number 178. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's close. It's not. We didn't hit 180 yet. Oh. It, 78, 79. If you're right, that's. If you want to go back and count them, let us know. Yeah, we'll send you a free sticker if you count it and get it right. Oh, then we gotta count and get it right too. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. It's in that range. We'll get there. It's in that range. Anyway, guys, give it a huge thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next year.